Yeah. 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 Well, Hashem. Okay. So everyone, welcome back to Breslov Efrat at uh, uh, Rab Charles is uh, base manager here. This is amazing. Shkayach <laughs> for hosting us. Well, well, Hashem, well, Hashem, Kenyibu, Kenyibu. Okay. So we're in Hilchas Hashkama Sabayke Dalit, and uh, we're in the middle of uh, letter Tess, right? So Kasten Tess. And we were talking about this idea of uh, of Hanhaga space Akise, how when we uh, use the facilities that we're supposed to not use our right hand to uh, clean ourselves, but we're supposed to use our left hand. That's the din in Shulchan Aruch. And again, you see how Shulchan Aruch is so wide ranging that there's nothing in our lives, nothing in our lives that we cannot find guidance on how to do it in the Shulchan Aruch. It's unbelievable. Really, anything you need to know, it's there. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I would uh, learn the, the Dafwood people, and I would say, what, what is the Gemara talking about? And what are all these cases? Like, how is this ever going to happen? So I said that, so I always would say to them like this, if the, if the Gemara didn't bring up these cases, then when the crazy things that happen today happen, how would we have a basis to know what to do? <laughs> So therefore, you'll find every kind of case, any kind of thing that you use as a guidance in Shulchan Aruch. Okay, so now, so the Rebbe is over here. So let's get back to Inyani and uh, Inyanim over here. So now, actually, the Rebbe brought in yesterday uh, Hanukkah. Now, it's interesting, and that's the most beautiful thing, right? We're learning Lakuti Alachot, and then every time we're, we're learning about Hanukkah space Akise, we're, we're talking about this concept of using the right. The right is supposed to is the Chesed. And the left is the gvur, right? And so what you have to do is we have to use, we have to keep the gvur always in check. So how do you keep the gvur in check? You take your tefillin and you wrap it on your arm. So you're locking up, so to say, the gvur with the tefillin, with the straps of the tefillin. So that way you can control it, right? Let's say you have, like we said, if you have, let's say, a, 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 you know, a criminal out there, right? So you can't do anything until you catch the criminal and you lock him up. You can uh, deal with him, right? You have a wild a, a wild dog is chasing you, right? So you have to you have to you have to catch it, yeah, and then you can deal with it. It's the same idea again. The muscle for the nimshal. We have all the din in the world, and we ha- how do we do that? So we and we need to use the chesed. And we said that that uh, that the, how do you do that? You do that through being being able to give teichacha. In the right way, giving the you need the chesed to give the teichacha that it has to be in a sweet way, in a good way, in a way of tzimtzum, so to say, because this way, if I, if I are doing it in a way of tzimtzum, you can actually get across. So, and what what are we trying to avoid? We're trying to always avoid chachmas chitzonius, right? The external wisdom of the of the of the umas ha'elam and and all of their, their, their shtuyot and all of their garbage that they try to uh, infuse upon us. I mean, it was, I was just in New York, and I mean, what, what they're doing over there with the, with the school system, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's unbelievable how they're trying to force down the throats of Kalal so their, 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 their crazy, crazy philosophy, unbelievable. I don't know what you guys are doing there, honestly. <laughs> I have no idea what you're doing in there. Get the message. Anyway, now, so the Rebbe says, the Rebbe says today, so they, why does the Rebbe bring in Hanukkah? Because what happened in the time of Hanukkah? What were the Yivanim doing? What, right, what were the Yivanim doing? No, you can't have Shabbat, you can't have Mila, you can't have Chaydesh, right? What? It's, but that's what the Hellenism, that was what it was all about. That was the Hellenism. It was, it's a, it was anti Tyra. Anything to, to get us away from Tyra. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. So the rabbi says like this, V'zeh b'chinas taikiv ha'nesh shel Chanukah. You know, everyone has a place? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ki oz omda malchis yovan harasho, lahashkicham teresech alaviram, right? Isn't it so beautiful, Renelu? And now we're learning about Chanukah. I love this safe. It's unbelievable. Ki amal... Huh? Simon Yud? Yeah, Simon Yeah, it, no, Tess. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ki, ki amal chis yovan harasho, ze ikav b'chinas chokmal chitzonis. That is the, the antithesis of Chachmas Chitzainius. They, they were, they, they personified, so to say, Chachmas Chitzainius. Sheheim Chachmas Yovan, Machma Sheheim, Osku Bezer, Beyoysel, Hamshika, Chachmas Chitzainius, Boilam Kedur. They tried to infiltrate the world with their Chachma and their 
shtuyot, and they wanted the world to buy into their, their ways. And unfortunately, look how many Yidden we lost at that time. Unbelievable. The history, and then, well, okay. Shazer Iker, his Gabbas Malchus HaRoshosh, who bechines Arba Malchus, and Arba Malchus to Kedusha. Okay, the uh, Abba Malchi, every we know, we, uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu makes everything zel zel, uh, 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 Hashem makes everything uh, counter balanced mm-hmm. in the world, mm-hmm. right? So, so you have any time you have anything of kedusha, you're going to have the same equal in the tuma, right? We have the we have the we have the eser, we have the we have the 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 the, the, uh, um, the eser svirot. Right, the eser spheres, right, and then against that we have the eser uh, kisrin the mistabusa. Right, we have the ten crowns of impurity on the other side. Can I get our uh, okay? Everything a Kodesh Baruch Hu makes uh, balance in the world, and that's why the Gemara tells us also when a person, you know, they, you know, a, a, a Russia thinks he has such a big Yetzahara, right? And the tzaddik, they, you know, they, they, he thinks that the tzaddik has no yetzahar, right? That's what the Gemara, right? right? That's what they think. And then the Gemara says, "What does the Gemara say?" Then they really the tzaddik, the tzaddik has a big mountain. It's a big, his yetzahar is a big, big mountain, and the yetzahar is like what is the, the mushroom? There's a cup of milk, and there's a little hair in there, right? This Gemara says, and it's like flinging out that little hair. What, what's the big deal? But that's but that's the I, that, that's the whole thing because the tzaddik the more the tzaddik is is engaging in kedusha so obviously he's going up in level so obviously the tum is going to go on the other side is going to it's going to challenge him much much more that's what the gemara means by the it's like a mountain by the tzaddik because as he has he goes up and he has more challenges on the other side not like we think. <clears throat> It's not like we think that the tzaddik, everything's so peachy and right. great by him. He has nothing to do. It's not the truth. The tzaddikim have to work very, very, very hard. And they do work very hard. That's what makes them tzaddikim. Okay, now. Therefore, it was a great, great time of tzar at the time of, of the, of the Yavon, right? Because what were they doing? They were trying to take away our, our connection to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. He wrote to Lashkiach they wanted us to uproot the Torah from us completely. Al yedei is gabrus hachochmas chitzoni shehem heipel chatayra, which is the which is the exact opposite of the Torah of the oneness of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Ki a Torah vaHamitzvus heim bechinas shiurim vekelim lahamshech al yadam hasagas alikus. The all the Torah, the all the Torah and all of our mitzvahs, everything are all vessels and ways. To, to understand the Rabbi Nishlam. That's why we study Torah. We want to understand the Kaddish Baruch Hu. How could you understand the Kaddish Baruch Hu? The Kaddish Baruch Hu is infinite. But the Kaddish Baruch Hu is in the Torah. All the words of the Torah are Kaddish Baruch Hu's names. And the Mido, the Eser, the, the Eser Spheres, the Midos, they're all the Midos of Kaddish Baruch Hu. And then we have to understand, when we learn them, we're understanding a little bit about the Rabbi Nishlam, but just, just on, a, on, a, on an external basis. Because only what the Rabbi Yishlam gave us and taught us about his midot. Really, we don't know anything about the Rabbi Yishlam. Mm-hmm. But he, we only can have a comprehension of what he, what he, what he gave us the preview on. <laughs> exactly. We have the Chachma Tata we were learning the other day, right? We have to use our Chachma in this world of, of how we engage in our mitzvahs and how we perform our mitzvahs and how we, we, we conduct ourselves with Bein Adam L'chaveri, Bein Adam L'mokim. That's all Chachma Tata. That's what we have to use our intellect in this world and how to do that. When they wanted to take our intellect on how to use, to engage in Torah mitzvahs and they wanted us to engage in their stupidity. Ay. So Reb Nussan's writing this at the time of the Haskalah, right? The Enlightened Movement wow. was running wow. rampant, Amazing. was running rampant that time, that time, you know, 200, 220, about 220 years ago, it was running rampant. So, so he's saying the same in, in our time, we have these, they, 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 we, we're dropping like flies. We're mamas dropping like flies. It's um, you know, and, and you know, so so I was I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday the other day. He called me up, and he was telling me, "Yeah, it's not so bad in America. Not so bad. Not so bad." I, so I said to him, "Okay, let me tell you something. I truly believe that the Holocaust in America today is much worse than the Holocaust that actually happened in Nazi Germany." 
Because we're losing more Jews every day in America. They're losing their lama, but they're losing their lama. They're losing this world and the next world. I said, at least those Jews that died, they died on Kiddush Hashem. They died on Kiddush Hashem. They have a special place. Yeah. These people, wow. So please don't tell me it's so good over there. <laughs> anyway. I, I don't I don't want to get okay. Again, again, it happened again. And it's happening every single day. It's happening every day. That we see that anyone that goes after their ways, they just let me see what they're talking about. Let me look at that. I want to see. I I I I'm just I, I need to know about it. So what does he say? Who Pyrrhic Earl Legamri? He throws off his yoke of Torah completely. And he shaves off his beard. Look at this. He shaves off his beard. And he'll take off his payas and he'll, t- and he'll start to drink the wine, you know, Yayanessa, the wine with, with Goyim. And what was the whole point? Why did, why did the Chazal, what was the whole point of setting up Yayanessa? Right? Yayanessa is not awesome in Atayra. That was a, it was a, a, a Rabbanan edict. Why did they do it? Because they, they didn't want us to co mingle with Goyim. So they figured out that, we, and, and, and the Jews always like to drink wine. So if we figure out a way that the wine, the wine, if we sit at a table with a guy and he sees the, even some say that if the wine is shaylet enough, if he looks at the wine, it can turn yayanes up. Do you know that? Yeah. That's yeah. why That's why most of the wine, if you buy wine today, that's not, that's not mevushal, they're usually in a dark bottle. Hmm. So you're not seeing, you see the bottle, you don't see the wine. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Cool. Interesting. You'll see that mostly, mostly. I had a bottle of wine. Yeah. And it was opened, it was, the cork was on it. Yeah, yeah. And then the next morning, I left it, it was in my office, but the door was open. So, so then the next morning, I come and I see the. It's never I see the. No, but never Bushar here. Yeah. Nothing's never Bushar here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. So, anyway, so I walk in, I see the house. Yeah, you can get the I am Bushar here. They have some. But, yeah. but anyway, okay, anyway, either way, either way. So either way. I, saw, I saw my office door open. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> It's in this week's uh, parsha, uh-huh. not looking at your ways. <clears throat> exactly. I, I thought Yain Nesef was because they, they, they give a uh, uh, patron to you know the Avodah Zarah. That also, but but, but but of course, again, but but again, they didn't want us to be involved with Goyim. Chazal wanted to keep us separate. You can't exactly. All these things that were set up I think, for this for this reason. To stay away from them. They leave, they leave totally. They throw everything off and they don't, they're not observant at all. Hashem should spare us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu always gives us the, 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 the antidote before, before the, 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 uh, uh, the, the ailment, the pain, the, the, the plague, whatever it is. Uh, he made a tremendous uh, a miracle in the times of, of uh, Yoichan and Kohen Gadol. I mean, think about it. There were just such a few people. There were such a few few yeshiva guys against against the world power. Unbelievable. It wasn't enough that they just they 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 they, they gave them a heavy blow. They gave the the, the Yavanim a heavy heavy blow. They brought this a special light into the world for all generations, for all generations. You know, we said yesterday, you know, when, when it came to the uh, Hanukkah Samishkan, right, when, I, when we had the Mishkan, so we, all, the, all, the, all the, the, the Shvatim, they brought their beautiful karbonot, everyone had their thing for each and, each and every day, and Aharon felt very slighted, mm-hmm. because Levi didn't have any carbon. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said that, what? You'll write the menorah. Uh, you're going to have the menorah. So Aaron Akkadon said to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, wait a minute, but don't you, your light is mamalei kolam and v'sayvi kolam. Hashem, your light fills and, and surrounds all worlds. So what are my little candles going to do there, Hashem? Mm-hmm. So Hashem said, that's the whole point. I want to use your light to light my light. 
Mm-hmm. I want to use your light to light my light. I want that light. You know, there's a there's a there's a beautiful medrash on that. I'll tell you a quick story. Do we have it? Do we have, yeah, we have it. Um, there was a there was a king that had a friend. There was a, a you know a, an Ishkafri, a villager, it was a, a very good friend of the king's, and and the king called his friend to the palace, and he asked his friend that in thirty days I'd like to come to your house and have dinner with you. Wow, wow. He felt, uh, he felt over the top. The king wants to have dinner with me. So he was so elated. He, he went home and then he looked around at his house and he said, wait, 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 wait a second here. <laughs> How am I going to bring the king into my house? So he, he wound up, uh, he wound up, you know, going out and chopped down some trees and he made a new table and he made a chair and he had some stools and he sat up there. He got a chicken with some eggs. Okay, he was getting, he painted the walls. And he came, he came that day, and uh, you know it was coming, it was coming later in the day, and the and the uh, uh, as the sun was setting, and the, the king he heard, the you know the royal band, the royal band was playing, the royal band was playing, and they had golden candelabras, you know, walking with the with the king's way. Oh wow, wow! He saw that he 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 had chalishas and das. Wow, wow! <laughs> the king, what he looked around this place, he closed the shutters. He put out the candles. He just sat down by the door. And they came to the door and they said, Hear ye, hear ye. The king is... He doesn't answer. Okay. The next one comes, he doesn't answer. Then the king says, I'm going to go. So the king knocks on the door. It's me, the king. And he opens the door. <laughs> they can't say no to the king. So the king says, Wait, you didn't remember that I was coming? So he says, Yeah, of course I remember that. Of course I remember that you were coming. In. But then when I saw you coming down the road... Uh, and I saw you, the grandeur of your, of, of your roy, the royalty, and I looked around here and I said, eh, what do I have to offer you? The king said, that's just the whole point. I always have. I always have all of this royalty. I have all of that. But I never have time to live with, with, my, with my friend. I want to live the way you live. I want to be with you. That was what the Rabbi Nishlam said to Haranakai. I have all the light. I have everything. I have but I want to be with you. And why did Akadosh Baruch want to be with Aaron? Because Aaron was Ayev Shalom and Raiv Shalom. And Akadosh Baruch was shame, the shame of Akadosh Baruch was Shalom. He wanted to be with Aaron. So that's one of the, the, one of the I, I think that was a nice way to, to, to understand. That's why when, when the Hashemunayim brought the light in, that light that they bring us today, and again, we learned that we, we light the menorah, right? Normally, we never do any mitzvah lower down, but this one specifically, because we want to bring the light into those lower forces to lift them up. All right? Shazebechinus tikkun, amavoye batayim. Shekol ma'asha choyle godol b'yoyser, hutzarek rabbi godol b'yoyser. Right, you know, the same way if a person gets sick, has for shalom, right? So if he has a little cold, he has a you know a flu or something, he goes to any doctor. He needs a, a general practitioner. It's no big deal. But if has for shalom, he has a, a big problem, so then he needs a big, big, big doctor. So too, so too, if a person is is uh, is spiritually ill, he has spiritual ailments, so he needs a big rebbe in order to help him. To, to correct his ways. That's what he's saying over here. What does that mean? The tzaddik has so, knows so much, right? He knows so many things, so many things. But he has to be mitzamtzim, all of his ideas, in order to give over to something to the person that he can, uh, uh, that he can gain by it. The tzaddik has to give all, has to hold back all of his information. The same way, like I like, like to say like this, if you have a, a, big, a big mathematician, right? And now he has a son, and he's going to teach his son, you know, arithmetic, one plus one. Wow, he has svaris on, 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 on the one plus one, but he holds it all back to give it so to the tzaddikim. The tzaddikim can hold back to give us what we need, to give us chiyas, to give us light, to lift us up. And that's what the whole idea of, of the Hanukkah, I think we're going to stop now, because David, you're starting in a few minutes, okay? Shkoyach, everybody.